Don't tell anyone. But I might be skiving a little bit. Or, more specifically, I'm just, um, keeping an eye on work things. But I don't actually have anything specific to do. Uh, all that's on the wall. I'm waiting on a bunch of stuff. So we'll see. So if I've got stuff to do turn up, then uh, I'll do that. But otherwise, oi, let me do it. I'm be playing some Fatal Fury Special on the Game Gear. So it's a, um, I don't know why I'm doing this, because I've, I've just done it. Like, actually, like, I think if you can do the specials for someone, then it actually it suddenly gets a lot simpler to play. But yeah, I'm playing as Terry Bogard. You get to pick your first opponent. And I will go for... Who do I find tricky? Well, last time I went for Andy first, so I'll do Andy first. Um, I'll be doing this either until I see some work come in that I have to actually do. Or um, some getting stuff in that's not for me. Um, oh. oh, no cheap hits on me, matey. But yeah, um, this is not going to be very interesting, but I just thought I'd put this on for like probably about five minutes. Well, it's going to be until work comes in or until, um, or until my, uh, family come home from whatever they're doing today while I'm meant to be working. Um, like I say, I'm just taking a mental health break. It's allowed. I'm told, I keep getting told to take breaks because I keep not break, taking breaks or drinking. And then, yeah. Not as bad as it used to be, mind. I used to be terrible for it, but... I have been told that regular breaks are a good idea. So I might as well do it while yapping about how this is a really good conversion of Fatal Fury. Like, it's two buttons, and I've, I'm just quite enjoying, um... Like, I've been... As if you've listened to any of those episodes, um, I've been quite enjoying playing um, River City games because the joys of like a, just a simple two button system one does punches, one does kicks, put them both together and they do something special in this case you do both at the same time, you do a strong but it's got all this, well as far as I know all the special moves I can't remember if, I'm sure Terry had a Shoryuken equivalent in um, Fatal Fury special I'm pretty sure he's got it in Fatal Fury doesn't he? Does he have the thing where he goes up and then down? The problem is, all these sort of Shoto characters in various games, who all control pretty similar to, to Ryu and Ken, I honestly am not sure if I'm just getting him confused with like someone like Soul Bad Guy. Although, I bet, I bet Guilty Gear would work well on a Game Gear. I've played a really good Guilty Gear portable version. Is it on the Neo Geo Pocket Color? It might have been. Obviously, I totally have all of these obscure consoles myself and totally don't regret the fact that my childhood Game Gear disappeared somewhere and nobody's certain what happened to it. To be fair. Who's got, like, what's it, eight double A's? There's a lot of batteries that it took, and it didn't last very long. And I didn't have games like Fatal Fury. I think that would be too much of a good game. I think it's that thing. When you're, um... Up until the point where I got a PlayStation, I think, and I could actually, like, pick my own games... You know, you're at the mercy of what your parents think is a good choice. So, like, 
my early years, you know, like Windows 95 stuff, so all those edutainment dealies and like hundreds of art programs that all functionally do the same thing. You know. And all of them just not as good as MS Paint. From the perspective of a child who wants to do pictures. Wubba wubba, I'm in the pink today, boy. I just beat the shit out of Joe Higashi. Oh, my. So you're Andy's brother. You don't look so tough. I do look tough. Um, but yeah, that no, was really good. Like, it's snappy. Uh, I'm just on my stage now, and it almost looks like they've managed to do, through some very clever pixel work, they've done something that looks like parallax scrolling, although it isn't technically, I don't think. It's not on a different, it's not on a different layer. I think it's all a, like, like, an, it's an animated component of the background, but... Like, the rest of the background is um, a flat image. I don't know. I'm not clever. But nothing's really moving at dip. Like, the stage is scrolling and there's a separate animation going on at the same time on the water. But that's actually constant. Mm, maybe that is parallax. I mean, if it is, then the game gear is fucking intense. But you kind of already knew that. It's like a slight... The components were a slight upgrade on the Master System. Which I don't know, it might not have had like as good a sound chip, because I know the Master System had a very good sound chip. But um but like display wise, it's a slight improvement. And it all fit inside a handheld. A very chunky handheld that you absolutely needed the plug-in adapter for. But um a handheld nonetheless. I feel like if I had, well, I think, I think childhood, Mike would have uh, really struggled with this. <laughs> Quite a while, Terry. This time I won't lose. I hope it's Duck King. And his stage is absolutely intense. Again, really good, really good work. Uh, I believe this was ported by Takara, and they did a really good job on it, like ludicrously good job on it. And you know, Game Gear will run on a potato, so if you have the means, I would recommend heartily. Manages to get manages to get the let's say the, a decent feel of this kind of thing. Like, obviously, some of the more specific Fatal Fury stuff don't happen, so there's no, there's no sidestepping, which is, like, a core Fatal Fury thing. But it's about as close to, like, a decent Street Fighter-type game on the Game Gear. I think on handheld in general. Like, there's some, there's some very uh, impressive Game Boy ports of games like Fatal Fury and King of Fighters, but this is absolutely really well done. Like, the the sprite detail's great, you've got a nice decent size for everything, so it's all very clear and you can do stuff, and like things like, I mean there's absolutely no way you would have managed to get a versus game going. Like. I'm pretty sure the Game Gear had a link cable, but even then, like, I think you'd need, you'd at the very least, you'd need another, um, copy of the game, surely. But, um, so I don't think you'd ever manage to get it versus, but, but just as an arcade ladder, it's quite good. Oh, Tom Furu, oh, you're so muscular, it'll be a pleasure to defeat you. <gasps> oh, have I got a thing to do? Right, I think... Well, ten minutes of me gushing over the fact that this is a really good little port, and so far, well, short of the fact that now you can just play all of the actual arcade versions of these games on Switch for not a lot of money, like, I'm pretty sure, like, I'm pretty sure, like, when I got KOF 97 on the Switch, 
it um it was like two quid or something on sale so I mean hardly you hardly need to pirate an ancient port of it but it's a really good one and like I say I think it's superior to the um, the Game Boy ones because the Game Boy ones like they all have sort of tiny sprites and I feel like the actual special moves are a little bit less reliable on the inputs might just be me. Admittedly, I'm not playing on real hardware, so I mean, my I'm playing on my my 30 quid special, and it is it's, you know it's little D-pads, lovely. Uh, I don't know if I have to stop. So yeah, it's good. I recommend. Yeah. Uh, yeah, here I am, I'm just beating up an old man. And it's quite interesting, so, like, I'm playing as Terry, and as far as I know, although, like, I'm pretty sure Terry's, like, Shoryuken equivalent is, like, the same, you know, the same, um, what's it called? It's the same input, you know, it's that Z1, which I'll absolutely gash at. Oh, wow! Tom Furu, that was amazing! There's a big old spinny across the screen and 100% does the Master Roshi bulk up. Brilliant. Um, right. Oh! But yeah, that was really good. Oh, now I'm going to mirror match against another Terry. And oh, am I just going to do this until... Yeah, I think so. Uh, well, actually, I might protect... Oh, actually, yeah, no, I think I'm going to leave it there. So you won't get me to... Um, I think after Terry, I'd be fighting... Um, Ryo Saki, well, no, you fight Geese, and then you fight Ryo Sakazaki from Art of Fighting. And it's at, oh, no, also you fight Billy Kane, forgot, you also fight Billy Kane. And Billy Kane actually was, you see, I played a bit of it earlier, and he was, by far, the hardest in the fucking game. But yeah. Man, I wish I still had my Game Gear. Oh, I think that's me. Right, anyway. Uh, I'll see you later. Uh, I'll, we'll check this out some point in the future. I um, have to remember to not like bunch things up so much. Uh, as of right now, so I'm recording this around the time I've just done a few episodes about uh, Final Fantasy fourteen, And I'm realising that... Like I've, I already had loads of things, um, loads of things queued up. Absolutely had tons of them. So um, there, being um, sorry, I'm actually working while I'm doing this. But as long as I don't tell you about it, about what I'm doing, technically, not broken any rules. Um. But yeah, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, no, um, it's it's all very um, bunched up because I've got stuff I'm currently doing, which is all very exciting. So I want to get it all out, and um, and like I feel like there's a, at least like one or two people who are mildly interested in seeing how I get on with a MMO. Um, I mean, like there's that many people who are that interested in seeing how I get on with anything, but uh, I like doing this, so. Bugger all here. Although, do keep listening. I'd actually like the validation, and also it means I've got things to talk about people with. Um, because basically, everyone who listens to this is on the Audio Only Let's Play dis Discord, which is the main social media I have in my life. Um, the hell was I doing? Uh, oh, this. Yes. Da, 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 da. Put that in so it's all correct. All correct, yes. Right, finish that. Um, and then wait for that to come through so I can actually finish it properly. 
systems not great um anyway so i'll see if i can get this i might just put this past whatever i've got and uh, no doubt i'll have the same issue later on where i end up posting every day because even days i've not done anything there'll be something that's posting on that day because i am bad at scheduling and honestly should probably slow down and put a bit more effort into things with a bit of volume quality shit i've been just nattering on for like three minutes without the game being played mm. Ugh, i'm pretty prone to this aren't i um anyway fatal fury fatal fury special on the game gear really good port um fatal fury in general great series one of my favorites um although i've really more recently been like more keen on king of fighters but uh if well th this will come out at least after at least after the time me playing 99 and 2000 uh not 2000 no 99 uh, 97, and I think I may have done a recording of 95. I don't know. But you, you're fine. My skill in um, King of Fighters is very variable. And it turns out I'm actually not very good at fighting games. At least not hard ones. Fatal Fury I was actually weirdly good at. Couldn't play it at all. I played it on, like, Fatal Fury 3? I played it on PC with a keyboard. Not how it's intended to be played. And it's not... um. And PCs at the time, especially, were not responsive enough to like reliably do things like that. Like you just couldn't, you couldn't get a quarter circle off on on a keyboard now. No, back then even. Now you probably could, because you've got those. Um, now instead of fight sticks, you've got the ones which have the buttons. Actual have actual like buttons on like a arcade stick style setup, but without the stick, just with buttons. Um, which apparently give an unfair advantage according to some people um what the hell was i on about um yeah fatal fury good fatal fury i could actually like finish a fatal fury game when i was like 10 or 11 on pc with um oh what's the name of the guy he had the he had the funny hat and a big stick but you could do by doing mashing heavy punch i want to say yeah, is that the one that D is? I don't know. But you'd mash heavy punch and you'd just have like, you know, in a similar way that you do for Blanca or Chun-Li in Street Fighter. And his thing would be he'd summon like a, a, a spirit version of himself that would just do like a massive fucking combo. It absolutely just got me through that whole game. And like, I just thought it was how it goes, but I found out later, like, I got so far as to, um accidentally like I got like a secret boss in it I was just thought that was how the game was I wish I still had that disc as well would save me buying the arcade classics version which has no doubt what I'm going to end up doing now because I fucking love that and now I can actually play fighting games do the actual motions a bit apart from the Z motion but you know that's fine it's fine, you can play Terry with just quarter circles and half circle. He's actually really easy. Yeah. Anyway, this has probably been very boring. Oh fucking hell. Nearly like half the half the pod me without actually having the game out because I actually had to do some stuff. But I, I enjoy the talking and I don't when I'm working from home I don't talk to people as much, so it's good. Alright, anyway, see you later.